Now to the tanks. There's a huge range to choose from in all different materials, shapes and sizes. In all cases, ensure the tank is manufactured in accordance with the Australian standards. The traditional round above ground tank can be good value for money if you have enough access and space. The material should suit the installation. If the tank needs to be partially buried, plastic or concrete is required. In bushfire zones, tanks should be steel or concrete. Slimline tanks can fit into tighter spaces. Care should be taken with the foundations under tall, slim tanks to ensure the tank does not tilt over time and fall. Flexible bladder tanks are a handy option if space in the garden is limited and there is room under the house or a deck. There are many special installation requirements for flexible tanks. Follow the detailed instruction of the supplier and refer to the Rainwater Tank Design and Installation Handbook. In particular, make sure that the flexible tank will not bear on the building when full. Multiple tanks can be used to make the best use of space. The outlets can be linked to the same pump. The suction manifold allows the water level to balance between the tanks, though not as fast as the entering rainwater. Splitting the inlet flow between the tanks can avoid overflowing the inlet. A slightly lower link between the tanks will ensure both tanks fill before overflowing occurs. An in-ground tank, concrete or plastic, is out of the way and easy to connect stormwater pipes to. Make sure in-ground tanks are secured against floating up by their shape and installation or by anchors in accordance with the manufacturer's instructions. You also need to make sure any access lids are secured to prevent access by children or animals. The best tank size depends on how much space is available, how much rainwater will be used, the roof area and the rainfall pattern. A 2,000 litre tank is usually the smallest size eligible for rebates. If there is decent rainfall spread evenly through the year, a 2,000 litre tank would cover most of the toilet flushing in an average household. 2,000 to 5,000 litres is a common choice to supply toilet flushing and the washing machine cold connection. Larger tanks of 5,000 litres plus are desirable if hot water and other uses will be supplied from the tanks or for large gardens. However, in regions with low rainfall or tropical regions where the rainfall is concentrated in one part of the year, larger tanks have greater value, enabling more water to be stored for use in extended dry periods. It's vitally important to keep mosquitoes and other creatures out of the tank. Every opening to the tank, downpipes, overflows, access ways, must have covers that prevent mosquito entry, either solid or meshed with a maximum opening size of one millimetre. Overflows should have a hinged solid or mesh flap, which avoids the risk of the overflow blocking. The overflow from your tanks need to be connected to the stormwater drainage system. Overflow discharge to the ground is not acceptable in most cases. It can cause erosion, flooding and reaction with foundations. Overflow to an infiltration trench is a last resort and should be designed by a hydraulic engineer. Eventually, all tanks need desludging. Ensure all your installations include a way to access the top of the tank and a way to get the sludge out, such as an extra outlet and ball valve. The next video looks at getting the water out of the tanks and into the home. You'll also find more information on the Trade Secrets website.